Boom! Episode 22. Welcome guys to another episode of Denim Tribes. With Guinea and Nana drinking our Slurpees. No, you drinking your Slurpee. What do you think about our light, guys? Hey, we've got, um, what do we call this? We've got a... Um, our setup. Our <laughs> setup. Um, our studio. Our oh. studio, that's the word. <laughs> so we've got the lighting department. You know, we've got people lighting and the cameras. Let's go. <laughs> Camera crew. <laughs> Lockdown, baby, lockdown. Mm. All right, so we... Oh, okay, so today is Monday the 9th of August. Monday the 9th of August. Um, it's 6.40 in the evening. We're supposed to, supposed to drop this. We're supposed to be consistent at dropping it at 6. You know, but we had... You, you've just been a busy man, my mum. Just been busy, busy. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. Just been busy, hey. How's your week been? Oh. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> um, How you been? Um, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Brain freeze. <laughs> when you have a brain freeze, you got to put your tongue like this. No. On the roof of your mouth. Yes. Anyways. All right. So. So, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe for those that are in lockdown. Yes. Man. We don't even know where we're at. But anyways. Let's get so straight into this it. Week, yep. So this week we wanted to um, just kind of. Speak a bit speak louder. I know, but the kids are sleeping. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to talk um, just about. Oh my gosh, how consistent have we been? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten weeks now? Yeah, I think so. Ten weeks. Come on, give us a round of applause, please. Round give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Seriously, if you're watching this, give us a thumbs up. Put a comment. Comment. Great. Uh, uh, happy. Happy ten. Ten. Ep, uh, tenth uh, episode. Episodes in a row. Yeah. Seriously, like <laughs> send us some love, period, please. Anyways. Anyways, so today we wanted to just kind of um, go back to our episode twenty on teaching kids. Um, like your private, the proper names of your private parts. And so this was in last week's episode. Is the episode before that? Put mm. the link below. Yeah, we'll put the link below. Um, and you know what? I just wanted to read some of the responses that we got. Yeah. Um. So I put out a question. Just get a recap. Recap. What's a recap of the episode? Um. Yeah. Just what we do. How we go about protecting our kids. Yeah. So we spoke about the what. We spoke about. You know, why we, the purpose of, what was it? Why we teach them. Yeah, why is it important to teach our children their body parts? Yeah, the proper and names of the, their body parts. The part. proper names. And we spoke about why it was important. And We then, spoke about how we do it. And then how we did it. Yeah. And so, this is, was, this is, oh. this is basically what, questions or replies that yeah, you so got? These are, so these are some of the responses. So I put up on my Insta um, a question um, basically asking like, do you agree with us? Yeah. Um, do you agree with like, with that episode and what we shared in that episode? So I wanted to read some of them. Yeah. Um, so this one is from someone. Um, they said, 10,000% agree. Husband and I are on the same page with this. If they understand their body parts and their actual name for it, it's easier to tell an adult what it is called and if someone touches those parts. They're not swear words, they're names of our body. Mm. I had a similar uh, response to that about it being about your privates <laughs> being known as swear words. Were you grown, were you raised yeah. like that? Yeah. But that's a great point. Like your body parts is just body like parts? yeah, it's just a body part. Like you know, it's not a it's like head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Mm. You know. Oh, but look, look. Let me let me kind of go back. Yeah, because it's not just a body part. You know, I know in a big part of my culture, Tongan culture, you know, you don't just say those things out loud mm. without you know what I mean. Like you got to be mindful. You got to be respectful. Of those around you, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Why? No, like, you don't, like, you wouldn't just go and be like... Yeah, no, I know that, but yeah, but why? Like, obviously, like, if you just, like, 
Like, give me an example. Like, what do I mean by that? Like, for example, like, you wouldn't sing that song, head, shoulders, knees and toes, in public, like, in front of people. Mm. Does, that, does that make sense? You like, you don't say, but, um, penis, yeah, I, I, you know, like, you, you get what I I'm think, trying to say? Yeah, I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to say to not say it. I'm trying to say you, there, there is a point where you got to be respectful, um, like, and, and be careful of how you, uh, I don't know, maybe in my, I don't, I don't know, know. I don't know. I, I think it depends on the context, but like if, if, you know, if, um, you know, one of the boys came and ran and was like, um, you know, so maybe kick my penis. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, but look, well, what I mean like this, like, like, you know, a kid comes like, oh my gosh, my thing is itchy. My penis is itchy. <laughs> Maybe you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's inappropriate. Is it? No, I don't think it is. Because it's the same as saying, oh, my foot's itchy. I don't think it is. It's uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable... Yeah, we'll see. There, there you go. It's I'm still, I'm still, I'm still getting yeah, to. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think. I, I still, I'm still uncomfortable with that because you know. Yeah, because that we was, were raised. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not on. Yeah, but you, you are right. You are right. But yeah. Why do, you, why do you feel uncomfortable? Let me ask you that. Why does it make you feel uncomfortable? Oh, it just wasn't a common thing to do. You know, you don't say, "Oh, my penis." Common is thing where? Growing up. Okay. You don't vote. You don't vote. You don't say those things vocally. You don't say those things out loud. Do you, why do you need to say that out loud? Well, why why can't you say those things? No, but out? why do you need to say it out loud? Because it's the same thing. If I come and I tell you, oh my my arms itchy. Like today we went to the park. So baby's like, oh mum, I'm the mosquitoes. No, biting. I'm, not, I'm not talking about like uh, I don't know. No, it's the same thing. Like if Sun Sun's penis was itchy and he came and he came, and we're in a family setting, like extended family setting, and he comes and tells me that. There is nothing wrong with him telling me that because then if you're saying that that's wrong or that's inappropriate for that setting, then him coming and telling me his leg is itchy or his arm is itchy should be deemed inappropriate as well because it's just another body part. Do you know, yeah, but do you, it's not the same. I, I Look, the, was the shoulder and a penis is the same. It's a body part. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's a different. No, but it's, it's completely different. No, but but when you're say for example that happened right, and Sunson came and was like, "Mom, my penis is itchy," or um, no, but it's, it's different. Like you know, it's it's a private. What what is when you say it's a private part? What does that mean? Is your shoulder a private part? No. No. Is your butt a private part? Yeah. Is your penis or vagina a private part? Yeah, but, yeah, but so, you've got to so, yeah, no, so differentiate. Oh, no, like, no, why but what why I'm, is it a, No, but what I'm trying to say... It, no, what I'm trying to say, it's a private part. Yeah. You can't just say... Like, I, I actually go back on what I just said. It's not just a body part. It's a private body part. There is a big difference. With the hand, your hands and shoulders compared to your body... Your body there's a there's a difference. It's, it's a private body part. Okay, so for example, yeah? So say we're out with the family... And their bum hurts. Like, I don't know, they fell in their bum. So they, are, you, are you saying that they can't come and say it to us no. in front of everyone? No, no, no. What I'm trying to say, that what I was trying to get to, I realised what I'm trying to say is that there is a difference with the body parts. Some of our, our body parts, some of our body parts are private, are private body parts, and some of our body parts are not a private. Mm. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, like... My nieces or my nephews, mm. I can go up to them and just hold their shoulder, like you know what I mean, tap mm. on the shoulder. That's all right. Mm. But if I do it to their private part, is that different? Is there a difference? Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not just a body part. Yeah. We have body parts, but there are some of our body parts that are private. Yeah. Yeah, I think. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay. At. I think we're leaning more into consent with that, but yeah, I get you. No, it's not consent. It's it's what I'm trying to say is when you teach our when you teach our children, we've got to teach them the body parts, but we also got to teach them that it's a private body part. Mm, okay. It's a private. It's not a. It's not something you go out there and you you know you you show. You know what I mean? There is a difference between your bob bo your shoulders and your body, elbows and stuff like that.
Yeah, no, I, I, I disagree. You disagree? I disagree. I, I disagree because, like, I don't want them, I don't want the kids to feel like they can't come in, like, I'm not saying, I'm not that. saying that, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is there's a difference. You cannot tell me there's a difference. There's no difference. There is a difference. It's a private body part. So what makes it private? <laughs> what do you mean what makes it private? <laughs> what makes it private? No, I'm no because th this is the thing, right? It's a so, big, listen, there's a big difference between bo these body parts. I know that. But the thing is, is we need to teach our children why that is. Yeah, so you know why, I mean? why, why? No, no, let me, let me, I'll, 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 let me tell you, um, I had this conversation recently with, no, I'm, no, I'm going to share this. Okay. I had this conversation recently with a friend and we spoke about like body parts and we spoke about how growing up, we've grown up with this culture and we've attached, what we've attached to vagina and penis especially not so much bum like we can kind of say bum and, and that's not frowned upon as much right yeah but the like but what we've attached to that is like we've almost attached like um yeah like it's a swear word it's inappropriate but we've almost attached like shame to it that they should be ashamed of their privates yeah of these parts does that make sense? And we, we kind of spoke about like how, um, how gospel wise and even culture wise as well, like how the reason, one of the bigger reasons why, like, um, why we've never spoken about these topics, um, openly is because it's like, we, we try to refrain from like us having sex before marriage. Does that make sense? And so we're just being taught, like, stay away from, t or, like, that's a temptation. Like, that's bad. Like, da 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 They don't compensate it. They don't mention it. Yeah. But it's like, but we've attached this, like, culture around it. I don't know how to, how to word it. But we've attached, like, all these words and this thing to it where it's, like, it's bad. It's, um, like, you can't, ex like, you, not you can't explore it, but, like, do you know what, like, do you kind of get what I'm Yeah, I get what out? you mean, and I do agree. There is a cultural thing, and I do agree. My parents, you know, we're our generation, we're breaking that stereotype where we're having these normal conversations around these body parts. Mm. I agree. Mm. It needs yeah. to be taught. Mm. I agree. We need to teach our children, know what, if you, you know, for Jun Jun and Daily, do you have a penis? The girls, they got a vagina. Mm. They need to know that. I'm not saying that's not right. What I am saying... Mm is that they're private parts mm. and they need to, we need to teach them they're private parts yeah there is a big difference between those private parts those body parts and every other body part compared to your nose mm. it's different why it's it's like you know and, and the, the tongan concept is it's respectful like you need to respect your body you need to respect those parts because you know they teach it towards you know one day you're going to get married it's a you know that's a respectful thing like look after it you know, for women, it's uh, looking after your yeah. chastity. As men, you don't just go and you misuse it. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's a, it's a private. It's a respectful thing. It's mm. not something where it's like it's it's sacred. It's sacred. That's it's the word. You, it's the use. Your your you will one day use it for procreation, yeah. and, for and an expression of love. Exactly because because the world mm. teaches it otherwise. Mm. The world teaches that. Or your your penis is yours. You can do whatever you want, right? Mm. Like a girl could be like, it's my it's my thing. I can do whatever I want with it. No, it's not. It's it's a private body part. It's a sacred body part. I think I think the I think the better word for it is, is sacred rather than private. It's sacred because you because because it's like you reserve it for. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Like, you're saying that it's the same. It's not oh, the yeah. same. It's not the same. Yeah. The world will teach that it's the same. Mm. And that's why it's important to teach it in the home. That's so. why it's important for you to teach it in the home. <laughs> this episode went completely different. <laughs> but you are right. Like, I do agree we need to, ha we need to conversate about this. Yeah. But, like, for still baby and that, they need to know, like, they're a woman, like... That's a private, sacred part of your body. 
and to not because the world the reason why we don't want to violate it we don't want to violate it yeah. and in the world the world will teach them otherwise if you don't teach them if we don't teach them the world will yeah do you want to read any more answers oh yeah um so thank you for that um that first one that got us going for about 10 minutes and comment below hey listen up <laughs> comment below what your thoughts are Who, what do you like you know do i make sense or does none of make sense or are we just saying the same thing and just being very you know We've probably seen the same thing here. Do you need a hug? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, so... Some other answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this was... This was, um, this was interesting. Hang on, sorry. Okay, so this is this is like um, one of my friends who is a childcare worker. Um, she goes, totally agree. I worked with a lady who worked, um, experienced a child. Oh, I worked with a lady who experienced a child coming to her and saying someone touched her bunny, mm. and they wanted to report something. But because the girl called it bunny, they just deemed it as not enough evidence to go through with the report. So these are the kinds of scenarios that we are trying to protect our children from mm. to avoid, you know, like I'm not sure like what happened further with that. Um, but, you know, that's an example of like what can go left if we don't. Um, Address, if it's we don't, not taught right. If it's not taught right. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, and, and you know, I think I think one of the um, oh my gosh, I think I deleted. What was the one, the guy one? Filipino one. Yeah, I like that one because I'm similar to that. Um, I don't blame my parents. Um, I don't blame my parents because Filipino culture seems to be similar to Polynesian culture in the sense that it is very, it is a very taboo topic and seems to be an uncomfortable thing to talk about at home. Um, I just want to say this about it being uncomfortable. If you find that it is uncomfortable for you to teach your children just vagina and penis, if that's uncomfortable to you, I, th I think that I would be asking myself like why am I uncomfortable teaching this mm. at first for me like um, I think normally it would be uncomfortable for me but because of like my my experiences with sexual trauma like I'm trying to protect my children from that by educating them you know so I, my why of doing it is exceeds my resistance yeah my resistance of being uncomfortable so if you're feeling uncomfortable like look within and ask yourself like why is that maybe there's something deeper there um it seems to be an uncomfortable thing to talk about at home but i kind of wish it was more normal i've seen that everyone is mm. gonna eventually learn i'll read it Baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I've, I've seen that everyone is going to eventually learn about these things somehow, whether it be at home or in PE class or friends from school or the internet. So it's probably best, it's probably be best to learn about these things in a safe environment where they can also receive correct information. <laughs> Lovely reading. How taboo it is in the house could possibly make kids curious. Ooh. Man, I, when, I, when, I, when you told me this, man, like this is me, 100%. Mm -hmm. make, make kids curious to find out what's so secretive about it, leading them to turn to other sources to get that info, which could really potentially lead to harder things in the future. Sorry, I blabbed on. Um, it was hard to break out of that bubble of it being an uncomfortable topic to teach your kids. So first of all, you're not alone. 
my parents were like that. I never yeah, really my had that. Were like that. Yeah, I never really had that. So, you know, I think I think uh, I don't I don't blame our parents mm. because they weren't really taught this. Mm. Like I said, we're probably first generation I'm breaking that, breaking so that cool. and, and you know, grateful for the internet and for you know these these resources that we have. So I don't blame them, but learning from them, mm. you know, but that's what we should be doing. We should be learning from like. Yeah, but but like you, but like you said, what happens is when it becomes so secretive and it becomes a taboo topic, and it's not discussed, and I'm t like, come on, right? Like, you know, sex and and all these things. It's, it's a if you don't teach it in the home, and if you don't teach around these body parts, mm. like you said, your children will turn to the world. Can I just remember this experience? They will go. Your friends. I remember. I'm telling you. I remember in high, in high school, right? Mm. I, like back then, like, look for real. Back then, pornography wasn't on as big thing. On, I'm tw I'm 31 now. So when back then, it was more like on magazines. Mm. It was more magazines, and video cassette players, and stuff like that. We didn't really have any. But I remember, I remember my 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 friends used to come to school with magazines mm. and show me, and I'm like, what? What is that? Like, mm. you know, it was just like, it was so weird. It was like, oh, what, what is that? Mm. And they're like, no, nah, check it out, you know? We're like, well, I was in high school. It's probably like 13, 14. They're like, mm. nah, check it out, man. Look at this and look at this. Mm. And I'm like, what? Like, it felt, it felt weird and uncomfortable. Mm. But because I wasn't prepared for it, I kind of knew a little bit about it, but... I wasn't like I was taught what that actually was. Like, mm. hey, this is pornography. Mm. Because or I was, or this exists. This exists. Like, yeah. I didn't have that conversation. But that's like, hey, there is pornography. It's paid. Some of them are yeah. like most of them are, are sex traffic. You know, for, because I didn't understand that. Like that became like, whoa. Yeah. And then, what is this? Did you become I more curious? I became more curious, and then I created. I, I attached my own meaning to it, mm. and my friends taught me about it. Yeah. You know, right. and my friends told me about it, and so that's what happens if you don't teach it in the in the home, if you don't teach body parts and around this stuff, your children will learn quickly. But from other. But from other sources, like you said, they will learn from other sources. Yeah. And that's when it can be dangerous. Yeah. Um. So there's another one that goes. Um. I'm all for teaching my children things. My parents always said we didn't need to know about, or would just brush it off. Yeah, sometimes like, so maybe that's like, why, why, why? I'll just go over there. Or why? But they always ask why. Yeah. Like kids, kids just want to know why. Like just so, just tell them why. Do you know what I mean? And that's what that person was talking about. Like yeah. when you, the only reason why you're curious and you start to speculate is because you weren't taught the reason why. You were just taught what to do and how to do it, but never the reason the why. why. So if you understood why, then you'll be more willing to like listen and yeah, and just understand. Anyways, um, this mum continues to go and says, um, yeah, I'm also teaching my children the things my parents always said we didn't need to know about or would just brush it off in hopes they were protecting us when in reality I learned from peers, school and church about things that my parents never taught me and to this day as an adult, um, so she is married with children, as an adult I'm still learning new things I didn't know about that my husband tells me I should have known from my parents. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think it's just all about, you know, just all about educating, um, all about educating. Kids are never, in my opinion, kids are never too young. This isn't an age appropriate thing. Kids are, kids are never too young to know and understand what their, to know what their body parts are called. Yeah, but then I think you, you cater towards the ages, you know. Yeah, like, when you're explaining You don't teach what, ginger and around, you know, thing, you just... Yeah. According to their knowledge. Yeah, of course. But I don't believe that that their name, the names of their parts are age. Uh, there's like an age limit to it. Yeah. They're never too young to learn. So. Um, oh, interesting. Interesting. So. <laughs> He's had a very long week and a long week ahead of him. <laughs> no. Yes. I was just, yeah, that was, that was a good, that was a good topic. 
Um, so yeah, guys, um, thanks for sending in your responses and your replies. It's just yeah. so enlightening, and and it's just yeah. Please continue to reach out to us and, and you know to Nana and just let her know like what your thoughts are because we're also learning too. Yeah, we're learning. Like yeah. you would see, we're still learning. We had our <coughs> we learned me and Nana. No, we're just discussing discussing we're yeah just so discussing. like we, we still want to learn so share with us your personal thoughts at the end of the day at the end of the day everything is for our children you know mm. how do we become for us we're just like how do we become better, better parents for our children mm. how do we how do we you know get how as much better, knowledge yeah and like how do we better prepare them for the world yeah you know this yeah. the world is ever changing you know yeah. Um, and and I, I do want to say it is up like if you have children, it is your responsibility to teach them. Mm. You know, like Heavenly Father has entrusted you with your children, so mm. it's up to us. And that's one of the biggest, you know, even though you might feel uncomfortable about doing it, you know, we need to understand that we're we're entrusted and yeah. and we need to do it. Yes. Um. So guys, thanks again. Dale. Dale. Gini Metale turned six months and I completely missed his six months. Imagine when anyways. we do this, like we watch his videos like 10 years time and this little guy here is going to be watching himself. <laughs> All right, Gini Metale, look at you. This is you now, six months. Six months. Imagine boy. like Gini Metale is watching like he's 20 years old. I know, how cool is that, hey? What would you say to Gini Metale if he's 20 years old? You're such a good baby. He's a good boy. You're such a good Jun -jun? baby. Junjun is another annoying, bro. amazing baby. <laughs> Amazingly annoying at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. ask your mum to tell your mum to tell you. <laughs> if you're 20 years old, Gebel Junjun, tell your mum to tell you the truth. Gebel Junjun, mummy loves you, okay? That's all that matters. All Alrighty, right. guys. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Bye.